morning, y'all. It's Elizabeth from North Carolina. I'm just up potting some of my fig trees because I've been neglecting them when I've been going through some stuff. And this one fell over and all the leaves fell off of it. It was in this pot. But it has a new bud on it. So, should be good. Then, I'm just up potting them like I said. They've had some issues. This one's in a coffee can. Look how yellow. And the leaves are falling off. And this one is in a small pot. So I have one, two, three. Bad, bad, Elizabeth. This one's in a small pot. There's two in here. And look at this one. Really bad. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and up pot them a little bit. How's everybody doing this morning? I've got my Angelo kitten out here. He's never allowed to come outside before. But I'll let him come outside for a little while. This is just a place in my little garden. It's gotten too shady because it's under a big choke cherry tree. But this side over here is where I just dump plants and use potting soil and stuff like that so I can recycle the dirt. I'm sure it has bugs in it. But it still has lots of good stuff in here. Start with a little one. I can't remember when I rooted these, but it's been a while. Maybe back in March. Oh, yeah, just one little teeny one. Everything looks real dry, but it's okay. Uh, fig trees, they like to grow in sand. So, okay, that's two. This is oregano, y'all, right here beside me. You know, oregano is pretty invasive, it'll take over your yard if you're not careful. What you doing, Angelo? 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 Come see what Mommy's doing. give them a little bit more room for the roots while I go ahead and get them into recovery. Got a lot of plants like that. Need a little bit of recovery from me and my gardening. It's so humid out here, y'all. Oh, look at the butterfly. Can y'all see that? Swallowtail. I'm surprised it didn't land on me. It gets some sweat.
much on this down at all. For years I put mulch in here, shredded, untreated pine bark mulch. This one right here, the one that's in a coffee can, that's going to be kind of difficult to get it out. I did learn that planting plants in coffee cans while they're free is difficult to get the roots out. Probably not the best decision I ever made. Get y'all over here with me. Oh, I'm sweating. Sorry, not the best decision, like I said. I don't shock the heck out of it. Got a pull, got no choice. I could probably get a can opener and open the bottom and push it out, but either way. Yeah, looks like we'll be restarting this plant. Poor baby. Let's put it in a bigger pot. That one's done. That coffee can's out of here. Yeah, I do have a bag of potting soil up there, but it's not good potting soil. It's cheap old miracle grow, and I'm not gonna... I'd rather use the dirt that they're used to growing in, in this area, than that cheap potting soil. So now we just have this guy See all the leaves, and uh, we're gonna put him in a bigger pot. Let me get one, y'all. It's not much bigger, but it's a little bigger. Angelo, what you doing, babe? I had uh, some more pots, I had crepe myrtle trees in them, and I gave my neighbor a tree, and I asked her, please bring my pot back, but she never did make it happen. So I'm thinking with this one here that this is going to have to be planted soon, because this pot is too small. I just want to give it a couple of days of recovery. For me... Good watering and stuff. I'll mix them up some more. Give them a little fertilizer and stuff. And maybe they'll do a little better. <laughs> 